Brittany from Brittany's Beauty, and today I got a package in the mail. So, obviously, Ipsy bag. It's April, so April Ipsy bag, and the unboxing should be good. I've heard good things about this month's bag. I've creeped a few reviews, and I'm super excited to open up mine. All right, so when I pull it out, this was in there, and I have two products on the outside. One is the Tokyo Milk Dark Levia Rose Bee Lip Balm, or Bee Balm and Jasmine Lip Balm. And this I redeemed with my Ipsy points, which kind of bummed me out because I looked up the price for it after I redeemed. Because last month or two months ago, I redeemed for a full size Benetint. So you redeem a thousand points for each thing. And so the full size Benetint was $32. This was $12. So I think it kind of sucks that the value of things aren't the same. So you're kind of, I feel, I feel like I almost wasted my Ipsy points on this. But you can always gain more by reviewing and by people signing up with your link and stuff. So it's great. I love Ipsy Points and I am glad to use this. But I cannot open it for the life of me. I've been trying since I started this video. And oh, oh, I got it. <laughs> okay. Super excited there. <laughs> so basically it's just this huge thing and bee balm. Oh, it smells so nice. It smells like roses. Really strong roses. I guess it's, oh yeah, love you rose, Jasmine. I don't know. Maybe it's not supposed to smell like roses. It could smell like jasmine. I don't know the difference. I don't know. It smells nice. It's not like a really thick balm though, which is great because I hate like the Burt's Bees balms. I find them way too thick on my lips and I just feel like I have like literally wax on my lips and it doesn't do anything moisturizing. It, I guess it does help with like the cold and stuff to keep them not chapped, but this is way better than the Burt's Bees, it feels like anyways to me. So excited about this. And then the thing that's actually part of my Ipsy bag this month is a Coastal Scents brush. And it is the medium shadow brush. And then they give us a 25% off coupon, which I'll have down in the down bar for you guys if you guys want to try it out. And yeah, so it just says they create a whole bunch of different brushes. I have tried Coastal Scents brushes before. I have one full set, which is a bamboo set that I love. Um, really nice quality brushes so far and it's always great to have another eyeshadow brush because I'm one of those people that will use all their eyeshadow brushes up and then wash them all at once because I hate washing them on a regular basis so I have tons of them and it's always nice to add one to it. And the bag itself this month, not thrilled about. Ipsy, step up your game with the bags. It's like this dark navy blue, slightly purple bag and it has a record on it and it says Beauty Rocks Ipsy. It's a square, not a rectangle this month which is nice but... Inside, there's quite a few goodies, and yeah, so let's start. I'll pull out the card. So this month, uh, it was like Glam Rock or Glam Rock Bag. Glam Bag, something like that. I don't know, it doesn't say on here, but if you follow the Ipsy like, page on Facebook, they give you like spoilers and sneak peeks and stuff, so I've been following those because I'm like obsessed of knowing what's it, what I could get in my bag, but this is just the card this month. I'm not a fan of these cards because all they tell you is to take a photo and share them and hashtag Ipsy or tag Ipsy and I really wish it would say the products, like a little bit about the products because from what I know in this month's bag there's quite a few brands that I haven't heard of. I may have gotten them, I may have not. So let's see, the first one here is an Urban Decay 24-7 24 Velvet Glide-On Pencil and it just comes in like this little thing here and, and so if we pull out this, oh and I guess I could open this too. On the inside here it just says a Smoky Eye Fanatics Ultimate Liner 24-7 Velvet Glide-On Pencil, and mine is in black velvet. I'm sure most are in black velvet. So, decent size eyeliner for like a trial size, because Urban Decay, I think their eyeliners are pretty pricey. The price will be down here, probably, and yeah, so let's try this. Really, really dark, definitely a matte black. Um, it's smudgeable, it smudges very well. I don't like when my things smudge, but maybe if you can put it on and it kind of stays, or you could always just pat like black um, eyeshadow over top of it to get it to stay better but I'm not a fan of smudging ones but I will try this if it's supposed to last really long definitely gonna be something I'm interested in now that it's summer I'm not gonna want to keep reapplying my makeup when I go out so we'll try this out if you guys want to review let me know comment down below and I'll definitely do that for you guys and the next thing here oh, that is falling out is a pencil Starlux pencil and it is a luscious longwear lip pencil and it's in the color naked Oh, that is a really, really pretty color. It's like a peachy pink, really nice, bright summer color. Definitely excited for this. Um, I would wear it on its own. It's moisturizing, it feels like. It doesn't feel like it'll dry out your lips. Um, it's kind of sticky. It almost feels like a lipstick, like a lipstick pencil kind of thing, if that makes sense. Like the lip crayons. Kind of feels like that if you put it on. It's a really nice color, though. I'm actually so excited about this. 
But I know Starlux does have their own subscription monthly box, and I should actually be doing a review on that cup this coming month. They contacted me, so hopefully I'll be able to get a review up of that box on its own for you guys next month. And then I have this little bright pink box that says Pop Goes the Shadow by Elizabeth Mott and Premium Eyeshadow. Ready, set, pop, creamy, easy to blend, crease-free eyeshadow that... Eyeshadow colors guaranteed to knock you out. The ultimate eyeshadow that will change your life. And little clear packaging. It looks really cheap to be honest. It kind of reminds me of the Essence brand, how they have like the little circles and it's clear packaging with bold writing. Reminds me identical of it. If I saw it sitting there, I wouldn't know the difference. And it's just this little pan size. It doesn't look like you could depot it. It looks like it's pretty in there, but it is a nice like champagne kind of rosy gold brownie color. I don't even know how to explain this. It's a really nice color though. Seems pretty pigmented. Very creamy like it says on the back. Um, yeah, I don't know if you guys can see that. I'll definitely have a close up for you, but it's a very, very nice well, we'll try this out. Like I said, it looks cheap, but I'm pretty sure I've looked up Elizabeth Mott products before, and I think one shadow was like $12 or something like that. As you know, I have the prices down below, so we can see how close I was, or if I'm totally thinking of another brand, kind of in the middle about it. Like, I will use it, but I'm not, I don't think it'll be an everyday product for me. And then the last thing here, okay, yeah, this is one of those products I've never heard of, the Dr. Brandt. Or I've never tried. I've heard of it. Never tried it. Dr. Brand Microderma Brazian Skin Exfoliant. And it's a decent size, but I kind of wish they did like the Michael, um, Michael Todd product size, where it's like about this height, but it's wider and gives you quite a bit to use it for like a month or so. This, I feel like it probably will give you quite a few uses out of it. Um, it says on the back here, all skin types, skin exfoli exfoliant, and dampened skin with warm water, slowly and gently massage cream onto skin for one to two minutes, avoid the eye area, rinse well, pat dry, best use one to two times per week, and if I'm right, yeah, okay, it does smell good, I could smell something in the bag that smells like fresh lemons or oranges, like, kind of like a kitchen soap, really nice, clean kind of smell, oh my gosh, I like this. I love when things smell really fresh and clean when I'm using them on my face, especially if it's like I keep it in my morning shower. Like bright, nice, awesome, fresh citrusy smells wake me up in the morning and I love it. So that's really nice. Let's see what it feels like. Okay, so it just comes out like a nice white cream and okay, yeah. There's like little, little, little tiny exfoliant beads in here. You can't even see them, so it feels really nice. It's not harsh at all, so it'll be definitely really nice to use on the face. So I'm excited about this, a little different, and this is one of the first skincare products I've got from Ipsy other than like a big heavy balm cream. So I'm excited about this, I haven't tried this brand ever, uh, so yeah, I'm going to try all these. So if you guys want reviews on any of these products, please comment down below and let me know. Um, like this video if you guys like these unboxings, I love doing them and I love watching them, so hopefully you guys do. Liking it helps me and also lets me know that you do like watching them, so to keep doing them. And comment down below if you want a review on any of these products or if you've tried them yourself, like even the brand in general. I kind of want to know like if anybody else likes them, like if there's any pros or cons about them. I'd love to know that because I know nothing about these other than the Coastal Scents brush. So yeah, bye guys. Have a good night, beauties.